Welcome to this podcast on Bream Domestic Refurbishment. My name is Gavin Summerson and I'm the manager of the Bream Refurbishment Schemes. I'm presenting this podcast from BRE's Victorian Terrace, which is an exemplar of sustainable refurbishment best practice. Previously an old stable block, it has been brought back into use as a refurbishment demonstration project. The project demonstrates how some of the latest technology can be used to retrofit our existing building stock. Taking the energy performance of a property from EPC band G to a band B. I'd like to introduce Bream Domestic Refurbishment, which is an assessment and certification scheme for domestic refurbishment projects. Its primary aim is to improve the quality and sustainability standards of the UK's housing stock, as demonstrated by the BRE Victorian Terrace. The scheme was launched in June 2012. Since then, over 100 delegates have been trained as assessors. We have now had the first three assessments submitted for certification by licensed assessors. This includes Bowker Street by Symphony Housing, who was the first to use Bream Domestic Refurbishment. The scheme comprises six Victorian properties which are brought up to modern standards and are projected to cut energy consumption by more than 80%. So why is refurbishment important? Well, the Climate Change Act is a legally binding commitment for the UK to reduce carbon emissions by 80% by 2050. This is from baseline levels in 1990. The BRE Trust Report, Energy Efficiency in New and Existing Buildings, highlights that 78% of the existing housing stock will still be in use by 2050. Of the total emissions, housing contributes to 27% of total carbon emissions Therefore, it is imperative that we improve the existing building stock in order to meet the 80% carbon reduction targets. To rate the environmental performance of refurbishment projects, the Bream Domestic Refurbishment Scheme assesses seven environmental categories. Management, energy, water, materials, pollution, waste and health and well-being. These categories are weighted to allow the scheme to rate the relative importance of each category as part of a balanced scorecard approach. This balanced scoring allows a single rating to be provided for the building, ranging from pass, good, very good, excellent and outstanding. Whilst the balanced scoring provides a flexible approach to achieve a particular rating, the scheme also sets minimum standards for a number of environmental impacts. This allows a scheme to set acceptable levels of performance in key areas. However, this has been set at a level that is cost effective across the majority of house types, from hard to treat solid wall Victorian properties to typical semi-detached properties with cavity wall construction. The minimum standards include energy efficiency with minimum sap ratings, internal water use to encourage a retrofitting of water efficient devices, Ventilation to reduce risk from overheating and condensation. Flooding, which ensures that Bream Excellent or outstanding rated properties in a high flood risk zone are provided with flood resilience or resistance measures. Legally sourcing of timber, which is to help address the fact that nearly 10% of timber in the UK is illegally sourced. And finally, safety for the provision of NOx, fire and smoke detection devices to reduce risk from fire and carbon monoxide related deaths. The typical cost of complying with the minimum standards for energy efficiency relates to the BREAM rating sought for the project. Using data generated by BRE for greener homes for Redbridge, which improved 20 vacant dwellings up to and beyond decent home standard, BRE has estimated the typical cost to achieve specific BREAM targets. For example, to achieve an excellent BREAM rating, Based upon the results from this project, it was indicated that this would typically be a total capital cost of 18k per unit. There are many benefits of using the Bream Domestic Refurbishment Scheme. The scheme can help to reduce running costs and increase occupant comfort. With the Green Deal and Eco funding launched in 2013, the scheme can help better facilitate the use of this funding to ensure the refurbishment is delivered in a rigorous and environmentally conscious manner providing a robust sustainability framework and full third-party certification process. It can help reduce risk for occupants relating to issues such as flooding, fire, security, overheating and air quality. It can benefit the supply chain by improving the sourcing of sustainable products. To undertake a BREAM assessment, you must first appoint a licensed BREAM assessor. 
of a list of which can be found on greenbooklive.com. The next stage is to use the Bream Domestic Refurbishment Pre-Assessment Estimator to determine the indicative Bream performance. The Pre-Assessment Estimator tool is available through contacting a licensed assessor, or clients can obtain a copy once they have carried out the online awareness raising training. The next stage is for a licensed assessor to register the project on your behalf. After undertaking the assessment, the assessor will submit their report to BRE Global for quality assurance and certification at both design and post refurbishment stage. Finally, the building will then be listed on Greenbook Live website at www.greenbooklive.com. The Lower Derby Road pilot project demonstrates the advantage of refurbishment as the energy performance of the dwelling is achieved from the improvement in EPC bands from E to B. The project was brought up to UK Building Regulations Part M standards to prove accessibility and retrofitted using a fabric first approach with improved insulation levels for the walls and roof, new UPVC windows and solar thermal for heating and hot water. A flood resilience strategy was adopted due to the property being at risk from flooding from the sea. The property was also retrofitted with water efficient fittings in the bathroom and kitchen, helping to achieve the Bream Excellent rating with a total cost for works at £40,000. More case study examples can be found on the Bream Domestic Refurbishment website. For anyone new to Bream that wishes to become an assessor, we have new assessor training. This is a two day course followed by an exam. Existing Bream assessors can carry out top-up training which is based on distance learning followed by an exam day at BRE. For clients requiring more information about Bream domestic refurbishment they can now take an online awareness training course. This will provide a 45 minute online training course along with access to an extranet page which provides the pre-assessment estimator and other general guidance on the scheme. Full details on training can be found on www.bream.org forward slash events. To find out more details about the scheme, you can see the full technical manual which is available online, in PDF or EPUB format. This is available at www.bream.org forward slash DOM refurb manual. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Please contact us via one of the methods you can see here if you have any questions or like any more details on the scheme.